The problem with strength for cyclists is the exercises, what are specific? You search YouTube, you search all sorts of various forums, and you're looking for those specific drills that will increase your strength on the bike. What if I told you that it's not about the exercises? The confusion is really all about what is strength and what is strength for you? Because ultimately, come on, let's be honest, you're searching for speed. You want to go quicker on your bike. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share with you what you should be doing with that extracurricular time that you have. I'll share with you the most common questions question I get as a coach and a bike fitter about strength and my very simple answer. How to guarantee you will increase your speed and strength on the bike with a couple of little drills. Don't forget if you're enjoying the content or it's bringing you added value to your cycling knowledge, hit that like button. And if you've got a fat finger, maybe it'll hit the subscribe button as well. Okay, so what is the most common question I get asked as a coach and a bike fitter about strength? Well, it's quite simply, hey coach, what should I do to get stronger on the bike? Really? Yeah, it's that simple. Well, I'm gonna give you the answer, but I'm gonna work up to it, and I'm gonna ask you to answer it. You can shout at the screen, okay? Because I'm gonna give you it in context, and you're already doing most of this. So the first thing is, what is strength? Well, strength is the, the contractual force, the forces through the muscles around a joint to create that movement. Movement of what? Your body. So body weight's important. Fucking too right, okay? It's essential. Think about lean tissue percentage versus fat percentage. Now, this video is not going down that rabbit hole, but power to weight is key. Now, when you're on your fancy light bike, you're still carrying your kit, helmet, water bottle, tools, all sorts of things. Most people are riding around 10 to 15 kilograms above body weight. You've got to move all that. Look at Olympic weightlifting. It is body weight, then above that, the weight that you lift. Okay, it's, it's fundamentally, but people like to avoid it. They like to avoid body weight, okay? So we then escape, hey, if I get stronger in the gym, I can be faster on the bike. Maybe, but most studies will divert you away from that because there is a thing in training called specificity. Do the exercise that's directly linked to what the outcome is you're looking to do. So if you want to cycle faster, hmm, do you spend more time in the swimming pool? Do you spend more time running around an athletics track? You get the idea, okay? But come back to this, what is strength? Okay, well what is strength for you? What is strength inside your training? What is your why? Why do you cycle? Why is strength important? You gotta think about that. Now let me tell you this, you ready? Ask you a question. Does the bike cause posture problems or do posture problems cause you problems on the bike? Now, it's a bit of a trick question coach, it's not. Let me tell you, I work with a concept called the QPE. Now you can't Google that because that is a bulletproof, unique technique, okay? of measuring your Quasimodo postural effect. You all know who Quasimodo was. He's not the guy that lives in the next street, okay, that you only see once a year at Halloween. Quasimodo, okay, Esmeralda. You know the thing, when you were born and you started walking, guess what happened? You started, I'm not talking about Kaiser Soze, but you had a little bit of a swagger that turned into a bit of, of a limp, that turned into a freak scale uniqueness of your posture. We're all the same, we've all got it. I've got one foot bigger than the other. I've got arms longer than my fucking legs, okay? You're posturally not set. So stability is the key, not strength. Strength should come from stability. So rather than search exercises, what's gonna make you stronger on the bike, look for things that are going to increase your stability because cycling places you in a unique position that's gonna overload the antagonistic balancing action of the muscles. All muscles work in pairs. Yes, they are husband and wife, husband and husband, wife and wife, fucking cat and cat, I don't, you know, whatever a partnership is. They gotta to work together, but they're imbalanced. They're an imbalance as soon as you start walking, crawling, moving, whatever you do. I'm afraid that's just it. So let me drill that down and give you something to really think about. If strength is your key thing and you want to go to the gym, great. But I need to do a longer video and talk about three and a half thousand calories. What does that mean, coach? Well, if you want to increase body weight by one pound, you've got to increase your calorie intake by three and a half thousand more than what you're putting out over a period of time. Whether it be fat, whether it be muscle, you got to do that, okay? Right, okay, you can see that would take a long, long time. Now, I do go into more of this concept in my five-day challenge, okay? But we'll talk about that in the end because I got something I want to challenge you to. Now, if you increase stability, this will blow your mind, okay? You increase strength because guess what you do? You increase 
fibre recruitment around the muscle. So let's say you don't take on the extra three and a half thousand calories a day and you increase the fibre recruitment. Well, fibre recruitment means that you increase muscle tone. Oh God, coach, what's muscle tone? Is that when I can see my abs in the mirror? No, muscle tone is that slight state of contraction your muscles are always under. Fucking posture. Yeah, standing upright, okay? Because most of us have posture like Quasimodo, okay? You get it? So, if I can do that, then I become stronger on the bike. We'll get to that in a second. Increasing that fibre recruitment, increasing muscle tone means that you can be built like a scarecrow, but still have a high FTP, have a high output. Your quads will be firing because you're recruiting more of the fibres. Give me these exercises, coaches. They're all around you. The world is full of knowledge. You've got knowledge at the touch of a button, but you just haven't got action. I don't care what exercises you've researched. You're not doing them, are you? You're not doing them because they're boring. Most people have no connection with the exercise. So if I tell you, you do these three exercises, you'll live longer. You do these three exercises, you'll have a better sex life. You do these three exercises, you'll fucking cycle faster. We've got to make a cognitive connection with the exercises. So the three exercises that I would really push you to do, first of all, glute bridges. We've got to fire up and really work on the glute. Why? Because your pelvis is a stabilizer when you're sitting on the bike. If it doesn't work and it's not as strong as possible, your lumbar will kick in and your lumbar is not strong enough to stabilize your pelvis. And guess what? Your pelvis is going to move while you're on the bike, <laughs> no matter how strong your core is. The next exercise is push up into plank, a dynamic plank. We're gonna stabilize the shoulders and we're gonna work on developing strength through the trapezium. This is going to help us hold ourselves on the bike better. And the third exercise I want you to do is the Bulgarian split squat on a chair. This is gonna really fire up the glutes, develop the glutes and put force on the hamstring and the quadricep and Bulgarian. Even the fucking word sounds tough. It's badass, okay? I've never met anyone out of Bulgaria that's not badass, okay? I've only met two people, by the way, out of Bulgaria, right? And they were both badass, but I couldn't understand the word they said. But I think they were speaking English and it was me that yeah, anyway, you get the idea. Those three exercises can change the way that you approach a strength program. Making you much more stable on the bike, okay, will ultimately make you go on the bike more because you'll fix those postural issues. So answer the question. Athlete asks me, hey coach, what can I do to get stronger on the bike? Cycle more. That's it. Cycle uphill. Cycle to the shop. Cycle to your work. Cycle to your first day. Cycle more because the specific nature of the cycling will outperform all research done off the bike. Off the bike, we want to spend that extra time, if you have any, stabilizing the body's posture so that you walk around more, so that you're much more productive during the day. Do these extra two things, and these are free, these are extra. So when you sit down, try and tuck your chin in and hold your head as if a balloon is holding the back of your head up. And also, stop crossing your legs. This will cause twisting in the spine, more than likely, on top of all that cycling you're doing and give you that unstable pelvis. That's it, that's all it is. It's that simple, okay? Start cognitively thinking about what exercises you're doing, give it a why, give it a reason. You're more likely to turn up and do them. Stop thinking about strength for speed and start thinking about stability for stamina. Because the more time you spend on the bike, the stronger you will get. The more specific strength you get, your lean tissue will increase, your fat percentage will decrease. You will therefore have a much better metabolic response, meaning you're increasing your longevity. That seems wonderful, coach. That is why I keep screaming and shouting that your bike is amazing. What it can do, fucking mind blowing. So I want you to remember, I don't care how strong your legs are, Okay, most people's arms are bigger than my legs, but I've got a lot of strength in there, okay? But it doesn't matter how strong your legs are, it matters how strong your mind is, because this is where the magic happens. How you think will always outperform how the legs work, okay? Now, if you think you're pretty strong in the mind, why don't you take on my five-day challenge? So far, everybody who's started, there's only around 50% of people can get to the finish. Do you think you've got what it takes? The link is in the description. Click it, it's all free. And if you complete it, I'll give you a t-shirt, I'll give you a medal and a certificate, all for free. No gimmick, try it. And 
keep getting stable, okay? Quasimodo, right? <laughs> you take care.